Well, well, well. As if we didn't see this one coming. A Tory front bench MP, Sir Desmond Swain. He's the new forest in Hampshire West MP. He, somebody that stands up in the House of Commons for the human rights, the democratic society. Uh, he's a human rights campaigner and he talks to the left and the right. Now being criticised by the Evening Standard and no doubt the Sun will pick up on this pretty shortly along with the Mirror and the rest of the mainstream media hell raising shit stirring tabloids. Tory MP Desmond Swain, they don't even address him as Sir, which he is, says the Covid figures are being manipulated telling them to anti-vaccinating groups. A senior Conservative MP has been accused of spreading dangerous misinformation as reportedly suggesting that the scale suggesting that the scale of coronavirus pandemic was being exaggerated. Well look, anybody can go on the Office of National Statistics website and they can see that still since the pandemic began last February that under four hundred people have died under the age of sixty with no underlying health conditions. Sir Desmond Swain, oh, they got it right this time, urged, this has gone from suggesting to urged, anti-vaccination campaigners to continue fighting against restrictions. Well, so we bloody should. Why should we have restrictions placed on our lives, placed on the laws that have built this country on a democratic society? that stop us from even leaving our own home, stepping a foot outside our front door without the fear of a £200 fine imposed by a young 21, 22 year old police officer that's overzealous and wants to get his figures up so he gets promotion. And the government makes rules to back him up and allows him to do it. It's disgusting. This man here is actually standing up to these tyrants and trying to take some of our rights back and help us doing so. Labour, oh here we go, Keir Starmer again, has accused the former minister of spreading dangerous misinformation about coronavirus and has called for the Tories to take action. Well, they'll probably take action in the year 2030 when China's taken over in 2028 from the US economy and probably owns the world by then. Uh, Angela Ryan, the deputy Labour leader, has written to the Conservative Party chairwoman. Why has she bothered writing? They sit opposite each other virtually every bloody day. She alleged remarks made by the veteran politician, the veteran politician, oh here we go, we're kicking him out, said that COVID-19 infection morality figures had been manipulated. Oh dear, somebody suggested he's got to be a conspiracy theorist, hasn't he? Sir Desmond took to Twitter to defend himself, posting, Sky is wrong, aside from my question to the PM, Oh, that's where you went, Desmond. You went wrong there, mate. You questioned the Prime Minister. How dare you in the House of Commons. Keep your mouth shut, listen to what they say, do as they tell you, and just take your money. That's the easiest way. Don't be a real MP that stands up for the people, mate. All right, well, I praise you, along with Sir Charles Walker, two MPs that actually stand out in the House of Commons as being active and on the people's side. The people that remember everybody else in that house, in the House of Lords, we elected you, we put you there, we voted you in. And guess what? We probably won't next time. But that's the question, isn't it? Who do you actually vote for when you've got Labour on the side of the op opposition government that the people absolutely loathe and hate? The people that elected them now loathe and hate them for allowing a police force such as the Met Police who have a professional hairdresser going to cut and groom 31 of their hairs before they go out and beat up 92 year old men and 78 year old women all with the praise of the government and the other lot sitting there laughing and talking a load of nonsense for, and get no action taken back against them. How good is that then? Yeah, two MPs that are standing up and saying enough is enough, take your rights back. According to Sky News, Sky have just gone down in my opinion here, 
Sir Desmond is alleged to have said it seems to be manageable risk, partic particularly as figures have been manipulated. We're told there is a deathly, deadly pandemic proceeding at the moment. Anybody can say the reason he's commented here is because if anybody looks at the true world data with Wales sitting under the average seasonal morality rate since the beginning of December along with Northern Ireland and Scotland who are the worst affected areas and must be locked down would see that anybody can look at the spikes over the year it's fucking January we get more people die in January than any other month in the year February, March it starts tailoring off is this coincided with the government's idea to get the vaccines? Oh, look, we've got a miracle. They really, really worked. Is it? Is it? I don't know about you, but I'm completely suspicious now of the powers that be that are ruling us. It's not Boris's fault. It's people like silly, slippery Matt Hancock that go and get governmental advice from an ex-Labour MP. Is he Keir Starmer's mate? Is it all a big idea for Keir Starmer to shout and rant about schools, get kicked out and Tony Blair goes, do you know what, I'm going to get in power and when the next general election is going to be a hung parliament and good old Boris and Tony are going to be in control of the country's future. I put that to you as a thought. Thanks for watching as normal. Peace, love, Harmony, respect. Thanks, guys.